Hello and welcome to the second of my five lectures on the chain ladder method. This lecture covers the preparation you should undertake before running your chain ladder models. As with the first lecture, taking this holistic, methodical approach will ensure that you build a predictive model which considers all the intricacies of the policies you are trying to reproduce. It's very easy with the chain ladder method to build a simple model that quickly produces results, but if you do that, you'll do no better than I could produce myself with a macro or some quick Python code. You need to really demonstrate your higher level thinking skills to add value in your work and have a successful career as an actor. I'll split this lecture into this introduction and then four further videos, each covering different aspects of the necessary steps you need to take to ensure you are fully prepared to apply the method. What are the aspects you need to consider? Well, I believe there are six integral all equally important things you should be considering before you run any models. These are internal data. Is the data you have available correct and is it complete? Granularity. Is the data you have available at the correct granularity to enable you to build a model which successfully covers all aspects of the policy life cycle? And how do you balance the need for segmentation against the limitations of your data quantity? Internal factors. Insurance companies are in a constant state of flux, writing new policies, hiring new staff, changing approaches and practices. How do you keep abreast of this and how do you allow for it in your models? And can the chain ladder method even cope with it? External factors. The environment insurance companies operate in is also in a constant state of flux. New competitors, new perils, legal and regulatory frameworks, not to mention lots of useful external information existing to help you calibrate your chain ladder models. What, why, how? You need to understand what you are modeling, how you should model it, and why you are modeling it before you even start to think about building a model. And lastly, modeling notes. Honestly, I think this part might be the most important part for anyone wanting to add more value with their models. I'll discuss how you can really help yourself and your boss and hence yourself, by using your modelling notes, not as an admin burden, but as a powerful tool to drive efficient, value-adding review meetings. I look forward to explaining to you all the ways you can add value and make your chain ladder models more effective by getting your prep right in the next four videos. And if you haven't watched the first lecture about the policy life cycle, then I really recommend you cycle back and watch that before you move on, as it will really help you everything into context. So please like and subscribe to support these videos and do let me know your comments and feedback on these videos in the comments below. Thank you.